Hello from ATB Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to be doing some benchmarks on uh, the T-Mobile G2 running Cyanogen Mod 7.0.0 Release Candidate 1. Now I'm not going to be keeping this ROM very long. I was going to do a video review of it, or preview I guess, but it's a little buggy for my daily driver. So, But I did want to run some quadrant scores on it and you know some different benchmarks just to let you know how it acts. And it's pretty impressive so far. Uh, I'm running overclocked at uh, three or 1.5, as you can see. I have my profiles off right now, so it's running at full speed. I do have it set for performance, so should get pretty good benchmarks out of it. So first, something simple. Let's run FPS 2D, the uh, frames per second app, because it's very quick and it's just very simple. It should average about normal. I just want to make sure we don't see any drop off in it. My average on this phone is 58, 59, 57. If it did it a few more times, it'll probably catch up. No, it's nothing unexpected. Just want to run it because some people like to see it. Now, I'm going to run everybody's favorite, or most everybody's favorite, Quadrant. Because it seems to be the standard benchmarking program, the one that most people choose, anyways. Now, when I'm running um, the stock Froyo ROM overclocked to 1.2, I usually quadrant around 1800 on this phone. This is the first time I'll be running it on this ROM at 1.5, so I don't know exactly what my score will be. But uh, running at 1.4 on the stock ROM, I usually get 2000 to 2100 quadrant score. So we'll see how it looks. And yes, submit. Nice. Nice. 27.45 or 27.45. That is by far the best score I've got on here. Now I know some people are running overclock kernel of 1.8, but for me that's just a bit too much for my phone. I, I appreciate my hardware too much to run it that hard and battery life I get about a day out of it anyway so I couldn't see running at 1.8 this is Nina Mark this is a, a GPU benchmark program so let's run it I just use a reflection in the room with bad lighting right now Forty-six point nine. That's actually slightly above what I normally get, but uh, I think it's just because this is a really light ROM. Like uh, I'm really like what Cyanogen's team has done with this ROM because it seems a bit lighter than uh, the previous uh, version six, and it's uh, actually based on Gingerbread two point three point two. But this is the first release candidate. I'm pretty sure by the time he gets the last release candidate and the final release out there, he'll probably be running 2.3.2. Let's run Lin Pack. Still slightly above what I normally get. I usually run about a 42. I get, and this is a very quick benchmark, so we'll run it a couple more times to get a baseline. 50.3. 51. Nice. So Lin Pack's quite a bit more impressive. Uh, now let's run NeoCore. It is a uh, another G. It's an Adreno uh, benchmark program. The GPU. It's made by Qualcomm, so it's their own benchmark program. Let's see what kind of score we get on here. It'll also give a frames per second, like Nina Mark. I just like to run all of them because different people have their preferences, and uh, I want everybody to get a chance to see the benchmarks before I swap back to my old ROM. But I'm pretty sure when the final version of 
uh, Cyanogen Mod 7 comes out, the actual full release, I will be upgrading to this ROM. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. It's nice. It's clean. I'm just having a few small errors. I have some just uh, problems with it that are probably just a bad install, maybe. I don't know. 56.8. Very nice. So not to talk bad about the ROM. The ROM is going to be awesome when it's finished. It's pretty nice right now. Uh, I was going to try to keep it or do an overview, but I need this phone as my daily driver, so I won't be doing a review of it just yet. Maybe on one of the later release candidates. Just wanted you to see those benchmarks, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.